fourth. Yeah, Bo, uh, I think his name is Boshi. I can't remember. Is it? Yeah. I remember uh, him being in there. I think he's like, or maybe not this one specifically, but there's like another. Oh, yeah. Um, so cause, yeah, because Paper Mario is, is, yeah, Paper Mario is like a follow up to us. In a sense, a spiritual successor to Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, yeah. which Honest has never been re-released unless you have the SNES Classic or you're one of those lucky people who are holding their heart out that Gino gets announced for Smash. Oh, this man. is the weekend where people get to find out if it will ever happen or if it won't. But hey, man, we'll find out who's winning out here because we'll these two these two players damn me out in doubles, and it's Chompy versus Rockstar Ace. Chompy. I like that name. <laughs> I don't know why it's fun to say. I usually say Chomper, so. All right, but it's actually interesting. Interesting to see a Wii Fit. It's always a, such a unique character with just awkward options. And, it, you know, he's actually not a bad character in Ultimate. Yeah, we did see Wadi uh, made out this character in the OC Goodwill oh, yeah. Invitational event uh, like back in April. Not only that, Wadi had talked about picking up the character and seeing how, how the character got buffed. And, you know, sometimes a lot of players can lose to a character due to matchup inexperience. Yeah, definitely not being familiar with, uh, like, how to, like how they punish, too. Like, if you're not familiarizing yourself with what their best punishes are, then what your best punishes are, uh, mm -hmm. is, sorry, I can't even tell you now. Like, that's where it gets tricky. And that, yeah, that was, I was just there, I believe. Ah, uh, forward. Or, or fair, yeah, sorry, that was just fair. Because his arm extends out. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's definitely a big part of uh, matchups if you're not familiar. The one thing about Wii Fit Trainer is all of Wii Fit Trainer's moves, majority of them, except for the specials, all have two-sided hitboxes. One in front of them, one behind them. This is, um, his up air, too, looks like it has a double hitbox. Yeah, uh, it does. Yeah, like a multi it's, it's a It's like a clap. It comes it comes uh, all together. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So, oh, okay. So the thing about the recovery now for Wii Fit Trainer is you actually have to rhythm it to recover the uh, to the, its best ability. Hasn't that, it always had like you know, no? Uh, Smash Four, you can mash it. This one is more of a rhythm. Yeah, it's more rhythm rhythm based. Oh, well, I meant for ultimate, it's always mm -hmm. been more rhythm focused, um, other than just like mashing, which is also really unique. Yeah. No, let's go. Rockstar is great dash dancing, able to confuse Chompy. This is usually what people like to call footsies. You know, people like to mix up their opponent, go for a couple footsies here, and then go immediately for an opportunity to get in. Great parry and gets the jab. You see how he like down aired uh, the soccer ball as well, which was so interesting because it ended up that like position the soccer ball's hitbox like outward. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, Rockstar here is definitely okay. I like that too. It was like a down throw up to. And yeah, all these multi hitboxes. It's really unique. It's always interesting to see a Wii Fit trainer. Myself, I'm not too familiar with commentating um, it as well, so it's cool to see everything connect. It's a back air, nice. Immediately tries to capitalize for a forward air. The one thing that I do like Chompy is trying to utilize though now is the, uh, the arrows. He's able to just making sure that he snipes. Sometimes you don't have to go off stage, but what Chompy can do is uh, direct the arrows more towards Rockstar Ace to force his, out his recovery and not only snipe his recovery as well. He's still with two stocks. I do like it. Doesn't want to risk too much. And he's Ooh. able to shoot himself from the upper dash arm. The one thing about the soccer ball there for Rockstar Ace is it actually does extend hitboxes. Oh. And that one will only extend Chompy to the blast zone. Wrapping up game one. It didn't extend there, though, when it was just bouncing. Yeah. Right? It's not like a Gordo. It doesn't have that, like, uh, that no, hitbox yeah. constantly. So okay. basically, the ball does extend hitboxes because of it. Things like Link's Bomb, I believe, Peach's Turn Up. And the soccer ball, this is a, just name a few examples, they extend hip hop. If you have them in the right position. Wow. All right, well, that was definitely an interesting first game. Started off on Battlefield. Didn't get to see the stage pick. But yeah, okay, going FD. Oh, so I started off on um, Battlefield. I, I love like the FD version Spirit of Spirit Tracks. Yeah, Spirit right? Tracks, yeah. yeah. Which, it's kind of weird. I haven't seen anybody really pick the Final Destination version of other stages, but hey, man, more to you if you like a specific song, because that's what it's for. I mean, honestly, there's so many stages in this game, I'm more surprised that we're not seeing characters go to, like, FD stages that aren't the original, you know? Yeah. We could go, you could go anywhere yeah. and make it FD or make it Omega, Battlefield, whatever. Yeah. The best part about it, too, is you have such great song selection as well that comes with that. If you're a fan of the Persona series, yes. you can't go to Battlefield, you know, Mementos to, to pick out some of your favorite songs there and battle it out. Yeah, a lot of like the music too can hype someone up. Exactly. Um, definitely really get into it too. If it's your stage, your music, and yeah, there's tons of great music in this game as well. Um, which is yeah, I'm surprised more people don't do it. 
They're go they go to like the typical stage as the usual. But, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Closing it out. That F smash there. And yeah, honestly, Chompy doing a lot better than uh, the first game. It looks like uh, Rockstar X doesn't really have platforms to like go off of, so it's mm -hmm. definitely a different playstyle than we're seeing in the first match. Chompy definitely. Holding, he was holding the neutral for a while there, but yeah, Rockstar is getting him off stage, putting him in a position, but not being able to follow up with anything. And yeah, this is where Chompy's actually excelling right now. He definitely just wants to get him off stage, keep him at the ledge, read his options, and uh, that's where he's succeeding. Yeah. For Chompy now, he's looking to make sure he gets the recovery, but now he's kind of losing neutral to Rockstar Ace. Go for it, Tilt. I know, they kind of like switched it up there. Yeah, just gonna throw a soccer ball off stage, and that also is a spiking tool mm -hmm. as well, which is dangerous. The actual hit of the ball, where you see the hand hit the ball, actually also is a spiking box. Even the foot as well. So you have to be careful. Nice, good dash attack. That's one thing that I'm liking that Rockstar does. He's utilizing dash dances, the footsies, the footsies game, here to make sure he's able to move in and out of Chompy's zone and then get the right Ooh. one, but unfortunately... Wait. By so, Chompy, not only that, um, there is some end lag when you go for deep breathing, and that's what ended up happening to Rockstar Ace. Yeah, he also not only that, but uh, Chompy's not letting Ace get deep breathing as often because he's just throwing out um, the arrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're seeing that as well. He just def definitely does not want him getting that little buff. A good so, stall. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good stall. Just waiting for him, going for that grab. He already knew what he was going for. Nice landing there into back air. Solid percent here, Rockstar looking to make a comeback here. He's so far behind. For Chompy, he's kind of knowing the fact that Rockstar kind of wants to approach him and he's kind of just moving in and out of his zone, getting a punish. There's an empty hop from Rockstar that kind of cost him there. And then he also just reflected uh, the soccer ball there as well, which is. <laughs> it didn't look like Rockstar Ace was prepared for that. No, not at all. Getting that back throw. And yeah, Chompy recovering high there, not letting him uh, Rockstar Ace get that downstairs spike or maybe some uh, aerial option mm -hmm. to put him in a pecking situation. Ooh, okay. Oh, I was going to say, like, if he's been going for these up smash reads. The only thing is up smashing that I'm seeing is the ghost of Final Destination. So none of them have been hitting at all. So at this point, I just kind of saw Chompy just like, okay, fine, if you want to up smash the ghost of Final Destination, yeah. you can do that, fam, and I will go here. Now I'll get my side beam. We'll see you in uh, game three. Yeah, that's definitely laggy moves as well. Mm -hmm. Smash attacks tend to be a lot laggier. So I don't know. Throwing out that option at that percent is pretty risky. And that's something uh, Rockstar is going to have to think about here. Why am I throwing out these smash attacks, especially at these uh, high percentages? Seems a little unsafe. And he has mm -hmm. to be a little bit careful, too, especially being at a stock deficit. Exactly. You kind of have to. If you, I mean, the reason why Battlefield was such a great stage for him originally was the platform. If you can, your opponent is trying, might be trying to land on the platform. You can't punish them for going that. But if you get the right read, you can potentially punish them. So, yeah, this is like a prime example too of stages like actually like really mattering too because we just saw a complete like different reversal. I think. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So now we're kind of getting the in between of like the FD and then Battlefield with two of the. Going Pokemon Stadium with two platforms now, yeah. not three and not any at all. So, yeah, this is kind of just like the in between uh, stage for both of them. And I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to either utilize the platforms or the stage itself. Okay, that back air, but that was actually safe on shield, it looks like. Oh, Rockstar is kind of leveling up here. Able to get two pairs on the arrows. I do like the fact so, that Chompy is trying to go for them. Yeah. Oh, but sometimes you, you give your opponent a little bit too much. Could be time to close the gap a little bit, Chompy. You're looking to move in. It looked like he was ready to follow up after uh, he knew that uh, Chompy was going to mash out of that, but he didn't connect anything. Mm -hmm. So, it's real interesting there. Um, not sure what he was going for. And then, yeah, where I, I don't, because I'm not too familiar with, um, excuse me, We Fit Trainer, mm -hmm. you feel like he's not using Salute the Sun as much as. That's the only thing we haven't, uh, good thing that you pointed that out because we haven't seen Sun Salutation too many times. Is it Sun, sun sal Salutation? Sun Salutation and Deep Breathing, yeah. Sun Salutation is usually the yellow ball move you'll see, and then deep, that would be Sun Salutation, and then Deep Breathing is the one where it's a more of a timing. They both give you a little bit of a buff when you're able to use them fully, 
And Sun Salutation is really powerful as a projectile. Think of it something akin to Samus's charge shot. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, you know, that's one of Samus' best best tools, and I'm, I assume it's yeah. also one of his best tools as well. We're just not seeing it as much. A little surprise. He is throwing it off at the ledge there. Um, nice, able to use the upper dash arm. It's good for like chomping. A great neutral tool. Exactly. You know? It's so for for him to go for something like Sun Salutation is really good when you have your opponent to, to read. Yeah. It's more of a finishing move and great great percent. Mm -hmm. Deep breathing allows you to go for heals, but it also gives you a little bit of a buff as well. Sun Salutation does? Uh, deep Breathing. Okay, I was like, wait, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. I know Deep Breathing does. Um, oh, that dash attack, too, setting him at a nice uh, follow-up, like an angle to follow up off of. Getting that uh, yeah. percentage on Chompy here, and this looks pretty even. Yeah. Really Chompy close. Chompy with a little bit of a runaway. The one thing I do like that Chompy's trying to utilize is with punishing, he's looking to see how Rockstar will make the approach and then punish him for it. Tries to go for a grab, but he whips it. And great opportunity, just go for the full jab. Oh my gosh, split up the biggest down. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that, that had a lot of knockback, actually. <laughs> that move. Oh, wait, well, there he goes, going for it. That was a good parry coming out from Chompy. Looks like he's got that down, uh, pretty much shielding it every time uh, Rockstar is throwing out that salutation. So that heals him like about 2%, yeah. right? Deep breathing. Some salutation only gives him like the, the actual charge shot. So he's able to use it if he's able to frustrate his opponent, maybe condition him to hold shield a little yeah. bit longer. Doesn't deep breathing almost give him like a little bit of a speed buff? Yeah, as well? it, it's a bit of a buff. Think of it something a little bit like limit and heal. Get the ground from the full jab. The last hit of the jab can ground you. You have to watch out. Grounding moves are great. Yeah, definitely. So strong, you definitely could just follow up with a smash attack and you're dead. That 130, 120% range where you yeah. want to take the stock, and that's just to make or break the game is just uh, tools like that. <laughs> that there, every time I see it, he just like <laughs> <laughs> breaks his back. Alright, kind of ledge guard situation again. Is he gonna go off stage? Nope. Nice, go for the super hoops. Able to recover. The one thing that we do see him go for the ball, the reason for that is because it causes Chompy to hold the shield, but unfortunately he drops that one and Chompy finishes it off with an upper dash arm. The thing about putting Dark Pit's upper dash arm is that one sends you just directly up and the other one more of at a 45 degree angle. So you have to adjust which one your DI is when you get hit by it, depending on which pit you're finding. Nice, good dare to nair. Slowly nice catching up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, going for that down smash. They're slightly out of reach there. It was a good try. Uh, definitely racked up the percent really quickly on Rockstar Ace. Yeah. And now in the lead by percentage. Yeah, that down smash is really good for catching that roll back um, when, you're, when your opponent rolls. Oh. Using the arrows. Yeah, trying to get that. <laughs> oh, and Chompy almost had the forward air. Oh, okay. with good whip punish. That's when we kind of saw him let go oh a little bit of a ledge. He knew that Chomp is a little bit more accustomed to going for the upper dash arm. This is a really intense situation. I can't believe how close this game is. This is what I was saying. This is like basically the stage. <laughs> like, it's perfect for both of them, and it's just so close. Oh, no. He oh, wanted a cross man. up. Yeah. He wanted a cross up, but unfortunately, he messed up at the last second. Wow. Chompy taking it over Rockstar Ace. Really, really.